Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. You can log in to our website www.claryconcepts.com to get more details on the conceptual clarity. So today in this lecture, we will be solving or we will be rather understanding the topic called orifice meter and how do you measure the flow using the orifice meter, okay. So let's say suppose you have an industrial network and in most of the process industries, I hope all of you are aware that there are many piping networks, there are many fluids who are traveling from one location to other location in a pipe, in a pipe network. Now when the fluids are traveling, you can see there are a lot many pipes in the process industries. Now as an engineer, you must make sure that a perfect quantity of fluid at a perfect rate is flowing through a particular pipes. Now how do you make sure that? We have seen that there are several mechanical devices to measure the flow rate of the fluid flowing through all these pipes, right. One of them which we saw is venturi meter. So let's say you have the pipe through which a fluid is flowing and simply if you want to calculate the discharge or the flow rate, you can deploy venturi meter into that. So you can simply cut down a small section of the pipe and you can insert this venturi meter and you can easily measure the flow rate of the fluid flowing through this pipe using this device called venturi meter. And how to do that? We have seen that in the previous lecture. But there is an alternative to this. Now if you look at venturi meter, what we have did? What we have done? Simply we have just changed the cross sectional area for a smaller length of pipe. We have reduced the area and then again we have increased the area to the mean diameter of the pipe. Now with this what happens was, with this the velocity and pressure had internal conversion has taken place and that we have monitored and that is how we have calculated the velocity flowing through the pipe and when you multiply by the cross sectional area you will get the flow rate. Now this is very smooth transition in the cross sectional change in the cross sectional area. On the other hand, you can also have